Hello everyone, davening on Rosh Chodesh during Sphira at war is something that we, God willing, will never have to go through again. But it is a reality for us this year. And I'd like to put it into context in a very personal way. So yesterday I had the privilege of celebrating the bat mitzvah of my mezink, my youngest daughter, Ayelet. And being at a bat mitzvah of your own daughter during Sphira created a halachic problem for me. Not the actual bat mitzvah per se, but as you know, with the bat mitzvah comes pictures. And with pictures came the shayla, should I shave? And I came to the halachic conclusion that I shouldn't. And the reason was very simple. I believe that despite everything involved in a bat mitzvah, at the end of the day, we have to know how to celebrate and yet not have our celebration complete. We have to know that as we celebrate and as we are happy for what we have, there are soldiers that have gone into Gaza yesterday in order to try and complete what we started on October 8th, a day after that tragic October 7th. We have to know as a Jewish people how to celebrate what we have and yet yearn for what we lack. And what kept on coming to mind is what all of us did at least once, if not twice, during Pesach. We opened the door for Eliyahu Hanavi. We should have said, Baruch Haba Melech HaMashiach, or something to that matter. We should have said, welcome, and we're looking forward to the Messiah. After all, you're Eliyahu, you're supposed to come a day before the Mashiach and warn us all that he's coming. And in place of that, we don't say those words. We say, and I quote, Shvo Chamatcha Alagoyim, Asher Lo Yedaucha. Pour your wrath over the nations of the world that don't know you. And on the nations that don't call your name. The ones that set out to destroy the Jewish people. Namely, we can pour a cup of wine. We could be at the Seder and at the height of the Seder. Seconds before we say most of the hollow. And yet still say, God, it's not complete. Pour your wrath over the Hamasnikim. Pour your wrath over the anti-Semites and all those that are set out to destroy the Jewish people. Therefore, on this Rosh Chodesh, I believe that the Jewish people have to know, on the one hand, we have so much. Thank God we do have a state of Israel, and thank God we do have Jewish security forces out to ensure the security of the Jewish people. And yet we lack so much. We lack over 130 hostages that are not home yet. We lack security in certain areas. And that's exactly why, in my humble opinion, you can celebrate and yet not chafe. You can be happy for what you have and yearn and daven for what you lack. It's my hope and prayer that as this particular part of the war gains speed, the Jewish people will be able to go further and further to a full celebration. A full celebration that will make Sphira Ta'omer go back to what it's supposed to be. A chalamoe between Pesach and Shavuos. Not a time in which there's morning practices, but a time where we wake up each morning to a beautiful new morning.